Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Alex right now is back in the West Island getting a manicure pedicure and then I think she's picking up a couple of things from her parents house that we forgot yesterday. It always sucks when we go all the way there and then we forget things, but this morning what I gotta do, I gotta put together the last two chairs and get them ready because we are having people over the next few days for dinners. We want to give them a place to sit here on the island, so we only have the one, but I gotta do the other two. Uh, there's still a few dishes left from last night that I didn't do because I was so tired, I just, I wanted to go to sleep. And then I gotta tidy up all the boxes and bags and stuff and get rid of all this junk so the house is clean and it looks good. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do to start today. Just finished editing yesterday's video. Didn't go to the gym again this morning because Alex needed the car to get back to the West Island to get her manicure pedicure. Plus, I still... I wanted to make sure I wasn't quite sick, so I think we're gonna go later this afternoon together. Um, also today, we're waiting for our dresser to arrive. It should come between 10 and one, so hopefully it comes earlier than later, but it should be here between 10 and one. Uh, so I'm waiting for that to arrive, and yeah. So I'm gonna get started on the chairs, and we'll do that first. Uh, maybe I'll do the dishes first, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna do one thing at a time. All right, so I'm in the middle of making chair number two, and look, it's here. Look what arrived, guys, it's here. It we got it! Woohoo! So I think I'm gonna wait to open it till Alex gets back, just because, you know, do it together. It'll be special that way. But it's so big, oh my god. It looks so good, I can't wait to open it and see what it actually looks like. I mean, I know what it looks like, but like, I wanna see what it looks like in the room, you know? Alright, so we're gonna open it, see what it looks like. Corners are all protected. Take off all these things. A lot of tape. This is pretty dumb to try to do this without scissors. <laughs> oh, we got it, guys. What a mess, though. Jesus, look at all this stuff. My God. That is a lot of garbage. It goes all the way outside the door. So we're going to have to bring all this out to recycling and fold it up. And <laughs> we just emptied the recycling bin, and now it's going to be full again. But look how pretty. It's so beautiful, guys. Here, let's show you the inside. So the top two, two drawers have, like, felt underneath them. This is a jewelry one. And then, oh, this one has felt too. And then the last one is just wood. Oh, it's so nice. I love it. Now, if we can make the bed frame to look exactly like this, bingo. Oh, it's so nice. So guys, the room is looking more and more like a bedroom now that we got our dresser set up. But the problem is it smells. It smells like packaging. Like, I don't, it, it smells weird. I can't explain what it smells like, but it smells like the back of a delivery truck like it, it's weird so it's gonna take a while for that smell to leave so we were putting candles on and stuff to try to get that smell to go away but it's really freaking nice I love it I love how it looks in the room now the goal is to make the bed frame match that type of wood that's what we want to do we want to make it stain wood look like that that's our goal so hopefully it'll work another thing that's awesome is my parents brought a printer because we have two of the exact same back home and this one was just sitting in the basement, we weren't using it, so they brought it when they came for dinner. So now I just need to hook it up, and it's awesome because it's wireless. So you just hook it up, it connects through a Wi-Fi network, and then you can use your phone, you can use your computer, you can use whatever, just to print from any room in the house. You don't need to like come in and plug things in and print from it, you can just connect it. So I think I'm gonna put it up here, which just means I need to move some things. But guys, look at these pictures. That's from my sister's wedding. I think that's me and my brother giving a speech. You can kind of see my sister and my brother-in-law there. And then this is a picture from when we went to Maine last summer of Brody with Alex. This is a thank you letter from my sister's wedding. And this is a really old swimming picture. I think I've shown this before in the vlog, but I am that one right there. And Alex is that one right there. Old school picture. So the printer's great, guys, but two things. It says it's low ink on the blue ink cartridge, so that needs to be replaced, and we don't have any printer paper. So we don't have any way to print anything, so I'll have to go pick some up today. But look at the forecast here, guys, for the next few days. So today it says tons of rain, then heavy rain, then lots of rain. So the next three days is just rain. You can see that it's already started. It's raining quite a bit outside. Look at the street. Oh, that's okay though. It'll help wash away all the dirt, take some of the leaves off the trees. So guys, as you can tell, it's the next day. Uh, we didn't film much yesterday because we were really busy. We were out doing things pretty much all afternoon and then we ended up having lunch, like a last minute lunch with her grandmother because it was her grandmother's birthday yesterday. 
And then my parents came over for dinner. We had a really nice dinner, just talking, enjoying. We made some mac and cheese. Actually, I'll show you some leftovers. So it was freaking unbelievable. It was one of the best mac and cheese I've ever seen. It was so incredibly cheesy. Let me see if we can find the leftovers. Yeah, here. Let's look at this. So obviously it doesn't look as good when it's leftovers, but it was like bubbling and br uh, yellow and a little browned around the top. It was so good. But yeah, it was really freaking cheesy and it was amazing. But now we have some leftovers. So we have like one extra meal of Kraft Dinner. Not Kraft Dinner, mac and cheese. I always do that. I call mac, mac and cheese Kraft Dinner. But I'm just gonna get set up here to edit the vlog that you guys are watching right now. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be very long, so we didn't film very much. But I'm gonna get set up to do that. I'll start editing and then we'll film a question of the day at the end. And if anything else happens between now and then, I'll show you guys. All right guys, so we're gonna do a question of the day to finish today's video. Oh, I just shook the camera so much. Um, so much. And it says, it says, hey, I got a, hey, I got a question for you guys. Well, because there's like three whys. Can you do that again? Hey. <laughs> when you were still in university slash SEJEP, SEJEP for us, if you don't know, is like our pre-university program. What program were you studying? And that question comes from Lorianne Pichet. So I'm assuming you're from Quebec because you know what Cégep is and your name is French. For me, I didn't do Cégep. I dropped out because I was focusing on swimming and then I went to university as a mature student. So when I went to university, I started out by studying some math and physics courses like gearing towards engineering. And then I decided to switch over and I did a few business courses and then I ended up dropping out of university. And <laughs> started being a coach and then starting doing this stuff with Alex. So that's my story. Alex, do you want to share your story? What's my story? Of what you did in Sejep and University? In Sejep, I was, I did two things. I was um, originally in, what was I originally in? Science and then I switched to, what's it called again? Oh my god, I've been so long out of school. Social? No, it was business, but it wasn't called business. What's the one that's business? In Sejep? Commerce? Commerce, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, how long? <laughs> I was gonna say economics, but it's commerce. Uh, and I went into university not knowing what I wanted to do. I literally did like three programs in university, and I just always would change, and I hated it, and then I just stopped going. So I was like, this is not what I want to do. And so my dad, I feel like I've said this story so many times, but if you guys don't know, my dad gave me like a year off being like okay you could still like live at home and I'll support you, I'll help you out. I had a job, but like just because Normally, my parents had this rule that if you weren't going to be in school, then like get a job and move out kind of thing, yeah. you know? And he let me focus on YouTube and I didn't do it as a career. Like it was my hobby because I worked at Brandy Melville full time. Um, and then that just expanded and grew into my career and never went back to school. Cause, I mean, I have a lot of business experience because I did a lot of business classes and I was in marketing. Um, but like at one point, but uh, I don't know. I have a very entrepreneurial entrepreneurial brain. Is that the yeah, word? Yeah, so. that's the right term. Cool. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you want to see more of our videos and more of my intense comb over from the shower, <laughs> which I just noticed in the camera. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.